High school football in Jamaica continued earlier on Wednesday with the semifinals of the rural area Issa the Costa Cup competition. Donald Oliver and Dwight Jeremiah were on calling to duties at the State Speed in Santa Cruz St. Elizabeth. And he goes with Donald for a round. Yep, semi-finals day in the Costa Cup as uh, four teams battled for two spots in the final and they were really intriguing games. The first was actually more exciting in my opinion as Dinton Technical faced off with the Manning School here at St. Elizabeth Technical High School. And in that first goal, first game, uh, Dintil, they had a couple of chances there and that one was just cleared off the line. It's, uh, Gary Mills just couldn't get a lot of power in that. And then it really was a, a game of chances for Dintil. As uh, Dejanil Russell had a couple of chances to get by the Manning's custodian. And uh, well, really couldn't apply the finish. And uh, Hutchinson here hitting it straight to the Manning's keeper. Then Young Porter came on and provided the goal in the 54th minute for the Manning School. It's a wonderful delivery and Porter nodded home. But then till they would get more chances to go ahead in that second half. That was another fabulous save. And uh, they would keep on pressing and that was a wonderful supply from Edwards to Hutchinson. And Hutchinson actually made no mistake from inside the box, placing it well to the right of the goalkeeper. And that was it for 90 minutes. So in the penalty shootout, Mannings went ahead easily. And then a couple of saves made. Manning's actually changed goalkeepers for the penalty shootout. And then they would find the bar. Dintil. And then that was well placed to the right of the keeper. He needs to score to stay in this one. But again, another miss. As uh, he came up trumps goalkeeper Romans in goal for the penalty shootout. And with that, Manning's, they were through two the final of the Lacoste Cup and they were so excited about it. In the second game of the doubleheader, it was the Clarendon Derby, Garvin Maceo against Clarendon College, of course, CC, they are the two-time defending champions and they really didn't start off sprightly, did Clarendon College. In fact, Garvin Maceo, they did quite a bit of the running, so much so that Clarendon College, they were so lackadaisical in defense, they created this chance and uh, Cousins just nicking in there on uh, Ricardo Beckford and the uh, Cousins scoring there. It was sharp, obviously sharper than the Clarendon College defender and then supplying the finish. That was actually the last kick of the first half and virtually the first play of the second half. Gav Maceo, they went 2-0 up, clear clock, picking this one up, and then that was a driving finish on the edge of the box. Wonderful stuff to send Gav Maceo 2-0 up. And really, he placed that to perfection, did clear clock. Clarendon College, they responded, they got a penalty here, showing Thomas coming in hard in on that challenge and then Jaheem Rose converting in the 51st minute. 2-1 at that stage. And then it would be 3-1. That challenge inside the box and Clark converting from 12 yards in the 80th minute. And Gav Maceo, they were well on their way, 3-1 at that stage. And then straight from the corner, Abrams converting his first of the season but uh, that was all she wrote for the champions. Unable to go to the Dakota Cup final for the third straight season. And with that, the Manning School will battle Garvin Maceo Friday, January 21, 3.15 p.m. 
415 ECT. And because of the results today, uh, all the finals will see different teams taking part. So we look ahead to the finals of uh, all the competitions coming up. But from here at St. Elizabeth Technical, it's goodbye. Yep, Donald Oliver on commentary duties there with the recap. So Cornwall College, well, bigger pardon, Clarendon College, fluffing their lines. They were the favorites to win the Da Costa Cup, but they came unstuck against the Garvey Maceo team that benefited from some comical CC defending in that first half, Lance Moran. Yeah, but astonishing actually, but um, don't take anything away from Garvey Maceo. They um, played a good, solid game that continuously kept the Clarendon College on their toes. Yep. Sometimes not on their toes. Yep. Well, and what can you say about the Manning School? A school that yeah. I uh, fell in love with as a, as a boy in primary school, watching School Challenge Quiz on TV. The Mannings always had a very good team in School Challenge Quiz. But the reason I love Mannings is because Jamaicans have a tendency to only uh, rate the corporate area schools. So the Calabars and the Jamaica mm -hmm. Colleges and Kingston Colleges and so forth. Mm -hmm. And there are some outstanding schools outside of the corporate area that don't get uh, the, 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 the praise yeah. that they deserve and give their stature. That's true. Mannings is one of them and I've always had a soft spot for Mannings and I'm very happy to see them in the final. It's going to be a humdinger of a final. Yeah, and I just felt as um, they didn't tell, you know, they had so much chance yesterday and didn't capitalize on it, so they lost out. There you go. All right, so more football on the home of champions, you know, because the Ben Francis Cup semifinals will be played on Thursday at the States Field where the team was today. And uh, yeah, this final is going to be live, of course, on all Sportsmax platforms for you to enjoy on January 21.